Skin cancer is the most common type of cancer in the world. When detected early, skin cancer is easily treatable with a very high cure rate. This video will describe a highly specialized procedure called Mohs Micrographic Surgery that is used to treat skin cancer. Mohs Micrographic Surgery is a skin cancer removal procedure intended for cosmetically sensitive areas of the head and neck as well as higher risk lesions on the body. It's so successful because 100% of the margin is examined microscopically. The benefit of the surgery is it removes as little normal skin as possible while making sure the entire skin cancer has been removed. This allows for the smallest possible scar and the best cosmetic result. For this type of surgery, you're able to eat a normal breakfast and take all your medications unless otherwise directed. The procedure is done completely under local anesthesia, so you're awake the whole time. It's the same anesthesia you likely received for your biopsy, so that way you remain comfortable throughout your day. Once the area is numb, the surgeon then uses a scalpel to surgically remove a disc-shaped piece of skin one to two millimeters around and under what appears to be the skin cancer. He or she will then mark the area like a face of a clock, such as tiny nicks at 3, 6, 9, and or 12 o'clock. Once the piece of tissue has been removed, the surgeon will stop any bleeding with a variety of approaches such as pressure or cautery. A pressure dressing is typically applied and you're usually taken to a waiting room until the results become available, which may take one to two hours. Each removal step is called a stage or layer, and each Mohs stage is processed in a lab for analysis. The piece of skin that is removed may be cut into smaller pieces to be able to fit on a microscope slide. Different ink colors are often used to mark the edges of these pieces to keep track of the orientation. To process the tissue, a histotechnician freezes the tissue, cuts it in a specialized way, and stains it on a slide. Sometimes special stains are used depending on the skin cancer being treated, which may make the processing even longer. A diagram or Mohs map is used to keep track of the orientation. For example, the inking and map allows a Mohs surgeon to keep track of where 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock are on the patient. Once the slides are ready, the Mohs surgeon reviews them under a microscope. If any skin cancer cells remain at any edge, the surgeon knows exactly where to go back to remove the remaining skin cancer. The surgeon will remove the smallest piece of additional tissue based on where skin cancer was seen under the microscope, while preserving areas that have already been cleared. This additional tissue will again be inked and processed in the lab for analysis. This process is repeated until no skin cancer cells remain. It is not uncommon to need multiple stages to ensure that the entire skin cancer has been removed, so it is best to prepare to be at your surgeon's office the entire day if necessary. Once the Mohs surgeon has confirmed that the skin cancer has been removed and all the margins are negative under the microscope, he or she will discuss the wound healing process with you. Sometimes wounds can heal in on their own without any stitches. Other times, your surgeon may recommend a straight line of stitches. For some areas, a flap may be recommended where your surgeon will use local tissue to cover that new wound. Other times, a skin graft may be recommended which uses skin from another part of the body to cover up this new wound. Every procedure has potential risks. With most surgery, the overall risks are low. There is a very low risk for bleeding and infection. Other risks include swelling, bruising, and discomfort that may last a few days. In certain areas, swelling may last longer than a few days and even take a few weeks to fully go away. While every surgery results in a scar, your surgeon's goal is to achieve the best cosmetic result possible. There is a risk for poor or delayed healing, especially if you are an active smoker, have other medical illnesses that slow your healing, or if your surgery is on areas of your body that are known to heal slowly. Continue to see your Mohs surgeon if you have any concerns regarding healing. With Mohs surgery, usually only sensory nerves are affected, so there may be numbness that lasts a few weeks to months. Infrequently, if the skin cancer is going deeper, larger nerves may be damaged, but your surgeon will best guide you if your surgery may present this risk and what the potential results may be. Even though there is approximately a 1% risk for the skin cancer to come back, it is important to keep seeing your general dermatologist to monitor the site and make sure you have not developed another skin cancer elsewhere. We hope this video gives you a better understanding of Mohs micrographic surgery. 
Now that you've been diagnosed with one skin cancer, you are at a higher risk for developing more. So it is important that you continue to protect your skin from the sun's harmful effects. What you can do is wear a wide brimmed hat, sun protective clothing, and use sunscreen that has an SPF of 30 or higher. When you look at the bottle, it should say water resistance and broad spectrum. It's also important to continue to see your general dermatologist once or twice a year to make sure you have not developed another skin cancer while making sure this one that has been treated does not come back. You should also look over your skin once a month to make sure there is nothing changing or bleeding. And it's also important that you avoid tanning beds because those can also increase your risk for skin cancer. So in summary, Mohs surgery really provides patients with the best uh, cure rate. We also provide the smallest defect, which leads to a more cosmetically acceptable scar. So prior to beginning your surgery, if you have any questions, make sure you ask those before the surgeon begins.